New technology is coming to the Scott County landfill in an effort to take advantage of a valuable resource. Yeah, TV6's Kyle Bales is here tonight to tell us what's coming and how it all works, Kyle. Hidden beneath the hills at the Scott County landfill are a series of wells and tubes collecting methane from waste. The rights to this methane are held by the Linwood Mining and Minerals Corporation, who specialize in limestone. But since 2018, they have not used it, letting it burn off. I spoke with the operations manager of the landfill to learn how they plan to change that. As the waste decomposes, it creates methane. Since 2018, the infrastructure capturing methane has continued to operate without an end use. Brian Seals and the Waste Commission have been actively searching for one. Then came a call from a French-based company named WAGA with an offer to install new technology at the Davenport facility. WAGA reached out to us. We got everybody in the same room and started talking about the potential of what uh, WAGA technology could do. The incoming technology is called a WAGA box. It's been in development for 15 years. There are now 17 WAGA boxes operating in France, Canada, and Spain, with 16 more under construction. It takes that methane that's being used or being burned off right now, currently, and it cleans it. And then it, it re-injects it into the Mid-American pipeline. Essentially, the box will take dirty methane produced at the landfill, then use a process that makes it a viable natural gas for distribution, available for several purposes such as heating, manufacturing, and electricity. They're committing to being in our community. We've signed a you know, 30 year agreement with them uh, to be here. And so they're committed to be here and, and, and to, you know, beneficially use our, our methane uh, for the next 30 years. WAGA is investing millions of dollars to install the equipment, so it will not cost taxpayers of Scott County a dime. Revenue from the natural gas that's produced will be shared between Linwood and the Waste Commission. Sharon? All right, thank you. Now, Brian says their collective goal is to have natural gas flowing directly into the local pipeline by 2025.